Hi, this is Mike McLean. I'm here behind the scenes at uh, Coffin Comics HQ, and I'm here to talk to you about the secrets of breaking into comics. Okay, so um, first of all, you might be wondering, well, who is this guy? Um, again, I said I'm Mike McLean, and I am the co-writer with Brian Polito on all of the Coffin Comics properties, including Lady Death, La Muerta, Zack the Zombie Exterminator, and coming October 17th to Kickstarter, Hell Witch. Okay, so I help Brian write all those books, and I'm very uh, honored and lucky to do so. But um, it took a lot of work to get there. So the first thing I want to say about breaking into the comic industry, and this could be true for comic, the comic industry, the movie industry, um, publishing. Um, the first thing I want to say is there's not one way to do it. So if I was here telling you, hey, this is the only way to break in, or I have the secret, the only secret to get in, that's a bunch of BS. And anybody that tells you that, um, talk to any writer, they'll tell you a different story of how they got into the industry. So I can only give you my experience, and this was my experience. I first started out in college, um, and after college, writing short stories. Okay? I would pen, pen short stories, I would try to publish them anywhere I could get them okay, published. Um, that could be webzines, or um, smaller publications, what have you. I was working at a novel at the time, but it didn't really work out, but I would push those short stories. And I did it for a while. It didn't come right away. Success didn't come calling really quickly on that. It took years. And in fact, I saw my peers get book deals, get into big anthologies, you know, get movie deals. I saw people my own age really publishing and, and being really successful. Meanwhile, I'm still publishing in these smaller places, which were great. But you know, you want a bigger deal. And then I didn't give up. So, one of my stories got picked up for an anthology called The Best American Mystery Stories. This is a, a, an anthology you want to be in because it has a lot of the, the big name uh, mystery writers and thriller writers and I was lucky enough to get in there. Lucky, but I made my own luck because I put all the work in. If I didn't put the work in, my story would have never been found. Okay? So, the first step is you got to work hard and not give up. Okay? The second step is you have to say yes, and I'll tell you why. Say yes, even if you don't really know what you're doing. So what happened? A few weeks after my uh, the anthology came out with my story in it, I get an email. Who's the email from? A movie producer. But not any movie producer. It was from New Horizons, which is the home of the legendary producer Roger Corman. Um, if any of you movie freaks out there don't know him, Roger Corman has probably produced or directed more films than anybody in the world. Okay. A lot of low budget, for, but fun, great films. And they asked me, they said they liked my story and asked me, hey, do you want to write a screenplay? Okay. What do you say if somebody asks you that? You say yes. Even if you don't know how to do it, even if you're a little bit afraid to do it, even if it's not really what you sign on for. Now, I, lucky enough, luckily enough, I was very interested in film as well, and I took screenwriting classes before that, and I studied the genre quite a bit, so I kind of knew what I was doing. But even if I didn't, I would have said yes. So luckily I was able to produce, uh, I was able to, to write a screenplay that they liked and they asked me to do more. Okay? So eventually those screenplays started showing up on places like Sci-Fi, like Sharktopus was on Sci-Fi, um, we had uh, Sharktopus, Piranaconda, Attack of the 50 Foot Cheerleader, all of those were produced by Roger Corman and I had the great pleasure to be able to write those. All right, so that's saying yes. Even if I don't know what I'm doing, I'm gonna say yes to an opportunity. The other one is to seek out those opportunities. What did I do? I still wanted to write comics. I was um, a comic fan since I was a kid. Um, it was what I always wanted to do. I was horrible at drawing, can't draw a stick figure, but I wanted to work in comics someday. So, what did I do? When I looked, I saw um, Phoenix Comic Con. Um, there were several panels, and who was doing one of the panels? It was Brian Polito. A very well known and local um, comic book creator, but more than that, he was also a movie producer, writer, and director. So I had some sort of connection there. What did I do? I went to one of his panels. Um, after his panel, I, did, I wasn't pushy, but after his panel, I introduced myself to his lovely wife, handed him my card, handed her my card, and um, a few days later, I got a call from Brian and we met. and. The, the rest is kind of history. First I worked on some screenplays with him, and then eventually he asked me if I would be interested in writing a comic. What did I say? I said yes. Alright, so 
those are the three three keys you got to work hard and not give up you got to say yes to opportunities but another one is you got to make your own opportunities which i i tried to do when i looked up somebody in the business now is this me suggesting that you go and find um, brian and start bugging him for a job of course not no but if um, if you're somebody with not very much experience and you need to make your own experience comic book convention is a great place to go they have all sorts of panels where they introduce writers to artists you can go there you can create a web comic you can write short stories you got to get your material out there first before you can kind of um, you know court those uh, producers of the comic books and the, the film and stuff so that would be one way to break into the the industry that was my way so um, hopefully that was helpful for you and if you like uh, seeing behind the scenes videos uh, check us out for more